Welcome to Fountain Pen 101. Today we'll be familiarizing ourselves with some jargon, very important jargon. Now, bleeding, feathering and ghosting. Bleeding is a symptom of uh, ink soaking through the paper so much when you're writing with a fountain pen that it crosses over to the other side. Now, number of reasons why that can happen. Um, the main reason being is um, very bad paper. I mean, by bad paper, I mean very absorbent paper. Paper not meant for fountain pens. So, yeah, the ink has just soaked right through. Terrible stuff. Um, yeah, fountain pen people don't like uh, paper that bleeds through. Feathering. Now, f normally paper that bleeds tends to also feather. Now, feathering is when you're writing and instead of the line being lines being crisp what happens it all branches and veins out um, yeah absolutely terrible uh, again a property of cheap paper very absorbent cheap paper and uh, yeah it's just absolutely terrible now the third thing ghosting now ghosting is uh, when you have written on one side of a piece of paper you turn it over although the ink has not bled through you still can see what's on the other side and uh, yep yeah, um, this is something not to be confused with uh, bleeding through and uh, yep yeah. so what we'll do now is I will go out of focus and I will show you some writing samples which I did uh, just a few minutes ago Please bear with me as I go out of focus. So, yeah. Now, um, this will seem ups, uh, upside down to you. So, this is written on just normal photocopy paper. And, uh, yep, so I've written the quick brown fox. Now, you can see a little bit of uh, feathering there. Uh, not all that much however when you turn the piece of paper over I mean you could just read that that's uh, yeah obviously the quick brown fox so what's happened here is the ink has just bled all the way through and uh, yeah that's a very good example of bleed through now next example I show you is uh, feathering now this is on a cheap um, notebook paper and you can see the lines are not crisp at all this is actually an extreme example of uh, feathering and if I turn the page over see what we can see is it actually hasn't bled through all that much it's more feathered Ah, very good example I didn't notice that now the third and final thing which is ghosting now this is on that first uh, photocopy piece of paper now again I've written with another ink the quick brown fox now, if I turn it over what you can see is you can actually see what I've written on uh, the other side but it's not bled through it's more ghosted I'll uh, show you another example so this is on Rodea paper which is considered the best like you know this is me doodling uh, I've written a lot of things and if I turn the page over sorry. so this is me showing you the other side I mean you can see basically very very little ghosting or bleeding so yep yeah, uh, so I hope you have uh, found that uh, useful now generally speaking fountain pen lovers tend to avoid paper that ghost feathers or bleeds um, some inks tend to uh, ghost feather and bleed a lot more and uh, yeah, it's uh, the more quality paper you use and uh, quality ink, um, you will avoid ghosting, feathering and bleeding. Uh, I hope you all have a good night and uh, we'll see you later. Oh, before I end, um, so today when I went to work, uh, a lot of people uh, came and spoke to me about the video that I did yesterday. Um, 
a student of mine, um, this is a 16, 17 year old boy, actually came and said, I'm thinking about buying a fountain pen or two. And uh, yeah, that actually made me very, very happy. I mean, my heart left for, left, uh, for joy. And uh, yeah, I mean, I will continue making videos, um, even if one person watches it and uh, like, you know, decides to um, take on fountain penning as a hobby. I mean, it's all worth it. Thank you very much. Have a good night.